dear students let us now revise the lesson where there is a wheel the essay where there is a wheel is taken from the book everybody loves a good drought written by b sainath a noted indian journalist who writes columns regularly on social rural problems post globalization in reading journals okay this has been taken from his famous book and this is a this is an essay this essay is about a social movement through cycling in padukottai district of tamil nadu where over 1 lakh rural women have taken a bicycling okay this uh, essay is about women in which state in tamil nadu who has taken up bicycling nearly 1 lakh women have taken bicycling for their daily needs most of them are new literates who use bicycling as a symbol of uh, independence okay freedom and mobility so for them bicycling or learning cycling it's a symbol of independence means they did not depend on somebody else and it's a sign of their freedom and mobility mobility means they are not static in one place they can move from one place to another cycling has given new meaning and social identity to women agricultural workers quarry laborers and village health nurses even balwadi and anganwadi workers <coughs> gem cutters and school teachers have joined the bad wagon means learning cycling there are also gram sevikas and midday meal workers who have joined the new movement the arivoli ayakam that led the community literacy movement successfully has found a new source of inspiration in cycling to make women further independent and confident so so this movement has started this cycling very large number of trained women have volunteered to help new learners so the women who learn first cycling then they learn then they teach others to learn cycling they strongly believe that all women ought to learn cycling so everybody believes that everybody believes that all women should learn cycling because uh, they need not depend on men folk if they learn cycling the very idea was the brain child of the popular former district collector sheila rani chunakat chunakant uh, okay uh, see sheila rani chunakant is the one who got this thought of teaching women cycling she took it as a personal challenge to promote the cause of bicycling this was because by training female activists literacy could be reached to women easily why main thought was that if they learn bicycling what will happen to women they will go to school and learn literacy learn read and write otherwise it is not possible for women to read and write she included mobility as a part of the literacy drive surprisingly every woman wanted to learn mathu baskaran a male harivali activist even wrote the famous cycling song which has become their anthem so who has written this anthem for cycling mathu sorry muthu baskaran has written and everybody knows that song cycling for these women has helped in several ways they sell their agricultural products their waiting time is saved they are now able to cover large areas and they have more leisure more than economic aspect cycling has given these women a sense of self respect okay not only there's a that gardening uh, the cycling has helped them to sell their agricultural products or um, it has avoided them from wasting their time for waiting for vehicles or waiting for their husbands to drop them somewhere to other place so not only this economic aspect okay even bicycling has helped them to grow in their self respect because they know cycling they can be very proud of their own self this humble vehicle is a metaphor for freedom which has given new classes the feel of goodness and freedom <coughs> okay now we shall go to the question answers how has cycling inculcated a sense of self respect in women of padukottai so how it has given them 
a proud feeling that they are women they are independent women how it has increased their self respect self respect andre atma vishwasa athava gaurava avara mele iruva gauravannu jaasti goliside a cycling hege the writer says that it would be very wrong to emphasize only the economic aspect of learning cycling kali aarthika vishayavannu manasale ittu matra cycling hege janrige artha agide anta viewers paardu anta heltar right he says that learning cycling brings a sense of self respect to the individual he quotes the opinion of fatima a secondary school teacher she opines op, opines that learning cycling is not economic in her case at all she cannot afford a bicycle yet she hires one every evening just to feel the goodness that independence so ಕೆಲವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಮುಂದುವರಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡೋದು ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ರೀತಿಯ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯವನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಓಕೆ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯವನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವುಮನ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಮನಿ ಟು ಬೈ ಬೈಸಿಕಲ್ ನಾ ಬಟ್ ಶಿ ಐಯರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬೈಸಿಕಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಶಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐಯರ್ಸ್ ದ ಬೈಸಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೈಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ so it is a sense of independent for her independence for her not merely she doesn't trust on stress on economic aspect but for her more important is her self respect or growing in that freedom what she means to say is when a woman learns to ride a bicycle she sense enjoys a sense of achievement okay something great for her because otherwise every time depending on somebody is not good women do not need to depend on their husband to help them physically in carrying their produce to the market now women also grow some certain things maybe they will produce some pickles or some household things now they have to sell them to the to the market how can they take it to the market only through bicycle there is no other means otherwise they have to wait for the husband or wait for the vehicle that is common transport for which they have to spend hours and hours in a village secondly nothing can be can bind them to their homes now since they know cycling they can go out of their homes otherwise they were inside the four walls itself they go out fetch water and provisions and come back home to attend to their day domestic duties and responsibilities at the right time now what they do they go out do also their work at Uh, market place may be or wherever they have to do their work then they come back uh, to the house and do their work so thus they save their time this way they enjoy a lot of freedom if it it is this feeling that gives them a sense of what is their self respect next question how has cycling become a metaphor for freedom in padukottai or how does the speaker highlight the freedom and empowerment accomplished due to cycling or in what different ways does the bicycle help rural women in where there is a will the idea of empowering women giving them mobility came from sheela rani chunkat the district collector of padukottai in 1991 okay she started it that is the thought first she included mobility as a part of the literacy drive so as to facilitate female literacy activists to reach rural women in the interior once the literary activists learned cycling they taught the neo literates cycling once the neo literates learned cycling every other woman in the district to volunteer to learn cycling so first some people who were included in this movement they started to learn cycling then they taught neo literates who just become becoming literates and also looking at neo literates also others learned to, other women also came forward to learn cycling later the arivoli activists organized a cycling training camp and created master trains trainers who in turn conducted several cycling training camps this way in a short period of time over 1 lakh rural women in the padukottai district learned cycling the author opens that cycling gave these women freedom mobility and independence so you know the cycling the cycling gave women a kind of freedom okay mobility means they could go now from one place to another and also it gave them independence consequently these women stopped depending on the man folk 
to transport their agricultural products to the bus stops i already explained to you they themselves carried the produce and sold them in the neighboring villages and this way covered a larger area secondly they also took care of the young ones at home and completed household chores in time as a result of the proper utilization of time they could also fetch water from far off places and cart provisions on their bicycle the cycling empowered rural women in many ways furthermore the ability to carry on all the duties and responsibilities on their own gave the women a sense of achievement and self respect thus the author witnesses this silent revolution concludes that the humble vehicle the bicycle has become a metaphor for freedom in padukottai so idu aatmavishwasa mathralla mahilarige swatantrya matte avaralli iruva vishwasavannu ಒಂದು ರೀತಿಯ ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ ಒಂದು ಭಾವನೆಯನ್ನು ಹೆಂಗಸರಿಗೆ ಕೊಡ್ತದೆ ಯಾವುದು ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನಾವು ದೆ ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕೋ ಟು ದ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಯಾರಿಗಾದರೂ ಬೇರೆಯವರು ವೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವರದೇ ಅವರನ್ನು ಏನ ಫೋರ್ ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ನಡುವೆ ಅವರನ್ನು ರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಯಾವ ಬೇಕಾದ ಅವರು ಹೊರಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ದಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ನಾವು ಗಾಡ್ ಬೈಸಿಕಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದೆಮ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ justify the statement wheel brings progress with reference to where there is a wheel <clears throat> in where there is a wheel p sainath the writer refers to the wheel of the bicycle to document the spectacular spectacular progress achieved by rural women in the padukottai district of tamil nadu the title symbolically conveys the progress achieved by rural women over a period of 1 and 1/2 years so where there is a wheel means you know wheel is always moving forward isn't it wheel is a sign of progress and success so this lesson also tells about the progress and success of these women wheel is a commonly accepted symbol for progress or movement or mobility wheel also means continuous progress or movement while stagnation indicates decay and deterioration mobility includes indicates dy- dynamism so you know water whichever water is remaining one in one place it becomes it smells isn't it there is no growth in that water nothing will grow in that water everything will die everything will stink okay in the same same way if the water flows if the water mobile is mobile going from one place to another there is true dynamism the writer remarks that people find curious ways of eating out at their backwardness of of expressing defiance a hammering at the fetters that hold them all these praises make a reference to how the rural women of padukottai district defied the challenge of the male bastion and broke the fetters that chained them to the confines of their homes by learning to ride bicycle already told you how learning to ride bicycle made women to go out of their four walls okay in their houses they are no more in their houses now they are out on the street these rural women which included agricultural workers quarry laborers village health issues sorry nurses ballad sorry balawadi and anganwadis gem cutters and school teachers midday meal workers and gram sevikas had to depend on the male persons at home brother husband father to go to the market to sell their produce and to go to their workplace in addition to doing household chores like carrying water from the village well cooking taking care of infants and today women can be seen doing many tasks on the bicycle <coughs> not only household work they can do now they can also go to the market and do many other works outside the house also they can be seen carrying water from the well along with their small kids sitting on the bar of their cycle in the front not only that that also they can also bring water to their house they have to go far away so need to fetch water earlier they used to carry on the head or neck uh, shoulders now they can do <coughs> by they can keep on the bicycle and carry the water pots to their homes many of them bis- bicycle they are way to villages to sell agriculture produce or to work in their quarries next question next question is actually incomplete but this question is 
Some people find curious ways of fitting out at their backwardness. How is brought out in where there is a will? So P. Sainath in this essay, where there is a will, remarks that people find curious ways of fitting out their backwardness, of expressing defiance, or hammering at the fetters that hold them. <coughs> Means this cycling, how it helps them to <coughs> get rid of the negative feelings, maybe the low thinking that women had, how does this cycling helps them? help them? All these praises make a reference to how the rural women of Adukota district defied the challenge of the male bastion and broke the fetters that chained them to the confines of their four walls, which made them the confines of four walls. That means you need to write how the cycling has helped women to grow in freedom, independence, self-respect. That's how they are coming over, overcoming their backwardness. That's all for today. Other questions have been already discussed in the videos. <coughs> you can have a look at them.